show you today. It's going to be a full video, so sit back, relax, let's jump right in. First of all, give you a little update. I did the little birdies. Oh, I forgot to put his little eye on there. I have a little, I have little baby um, googly eyes. I'm going to give him one. I forgot to get it on there. So that is the completed bird hanger. Aren't they pretty? And it is just one-sided. Look at the googly eyes. Go, 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 go. All right. And with they gave me so many um, stones that instead of just like putting them away in my huge collection of leftover rhinestones, I went ahead and decided to start working on these guys. And I started out using the leftover stones from the birds and then going into my stash. And I decided instead of using the drills that came with this, this is going to be a full rhinestone piece. Now it did come with some rhinestones, the, the bigger ones. Um, it did come with those as rhinestones, but the rest of the stones are regular drills. So I decided to change this up and make it a rhinestone piece. And it is looking pretty darn cool. As you can see, I'm not done yet. There's a lot of rhinestones on this piece, a lot, a lot of drills. So that is how that is coming, looking pretty darn cute. I love it. I can't wait to do more of these. Okay, let's see next. Oh, can't see myself. There's a pop-up. Go away, go away. Uh, what do I want to show you next? <laughs> oh, Emily has been busy. So I wanted to show you what she made. And if any of you are interested in these, I can make them cover minders and I can put them on um, Etsy and Emily will get the proceeds. So if you are interested in these, leave a comment because you can now and let me know how much you would be willing to pay for one of these. Um, and I will put Emily to work. So these are all Harry Potter. So we have this guy. Ooh, I'm kind of a wreck today, aren't I? I didn't really comb my hair. I just kind of like pulled it back. Ooh, that made it worse. Don't look. Don't look. So here's him. And then we have Harry. And then we have... Draco? My mind went blank. These little legs are a little wobbly. Then we have Hermione. She looks like she's got a bum eye. <laughs> I can see you. And then we have, I can never remember her name. This is the lady teacher. <laughs> that was Elsa. She's got that weird cough. I don't know what's going on. And then we have Ron. And then we have Gryffindor, which is my house. And then we have the Griffin. Isn't he cool? I love him. And then we have Dobby. Dobby, sorry, I always say Dobby. Dobby, give him a sock. And then we have Hagrid. Hagrid. I can never remember his name either. What's her name? Uh, McGonagall. McGon McGon McGonagall? McGon yes. I don't know if I pronounced it. And either. sorry, there's Hagrid. And then we have Hedwig. Aren't they cute? She did such a good job. All right, so if you like those, leave a comment. And Emily will get busy making you your own. All right, these next ones are from a lovely, lovely lady. Hello, Wanda. She has an Etsy shop, and she has um, 
she is making some really cool cover minders. Anna has Hi, Anna. Them. Anna's mulling. All right, so um, it's really funny because I she said she was going to send me some to check out. And then I went in and ordered some, and I ordered the exact ones that she had picked out to send me. <laughs> so great minds think alike, right? Now, I absolutely love these. I think this is a great idea. Kind of annoyed I didn't think of it myself. But, um, and this is, this is actually really, really smart. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, this is her, where's the, I thought you wrote on here, Wanda, what your actual, well, it's called Wanda's Work Basket. And I don't want to show her address on here. So look for this on Etsy. Wanda's work basket. I know I have not gotten my nails done yet because I'm just lazy and haven't gotten done it. Um, so she's on Etsy. And let's see, what do I want to show first? They're so cool. All right, so here are adorable little crocheted flowers with little buttons and bows. I love the look of this, look of this. These are just so stinking cute. And then here's the smart part that I never thought about. She is using a, hang on, my cat fell. Anyway, where was I? Okay, so um, for the back, she's got the magnet and then she has a little washer. Well, uh, it's not a washer, it doesn't have a hole in it, but these little metal pieces. So you use that. And it works just the same as two magnets. It's genius. Genius, I love it. All right, so the two red crochet pieces that she sent me are these, and you can see the buttons are a little bit different, but they're alike, they're similar. So I have a cute little set there. And then these are so cool, thank you so much. So this is super, super cool with the heart and the gears and the little gem which is actually a little square gem. You don't see square ones. I love those. And here is the matching one. I just think it's awesome that I chose to buy the same ones that she was already sending me. So now I have a matching set, which is super cool. Cause you know, you gotta have two of things, right? Ooh, they're so cute. And again, they have the same magnet with the little metal piece on the back. That is so cool. I love it. And they do work. I've tested them out on my diamond paintings and it is, I just love the look of these. I love these metal pieces. I'd love to know where you got these because they'd be really cool for cards. Cause I've never seen anything like this. They're just really cool. Really, really like them. So again, it's Wanda's work basket. Go check her out on Etsy. Send her some love. Okay, next, what do I want to show you? What do I want to show you? We will go with these. Now, I have seen these. I was told they were on eBay. And I went and looked, and they were really pricey. So, of course, I had to go check out Amazon. And guess what? They're on Amazon for much, much cheaper. So, I had to get some, even though I don't need them. We don't need any of this, do we? But it makes me happy. So, check them out. So, these are the new heart-shaped diamond painting trees. Now, I have not tried these yet because, shockingly, I did not do any diamond painting last week. Not a single bit. I was too busy crocheting. So, I have not tried these out yet, but they look pretty good. The only thing, and Emily pointed out, she's like, there's no funnel. It's like, yeah, but there's a point. So it's it kind of work as a funnel. So now the really cool thing about these is they are a little box, right? And when you open said box, you have two trays. 
Now, of course, one is deeper than the other, but still you have the trays, but it gets better. There's a smaller one inside and a smaller one inside that. So you end up with six trays in graduating sizes. Now each one, the lid has the little diamond on the front. Bottom does not, but they are all six have the lines inside. Again, same little, little box. So you could use this as a little storage box if you wanted to, or you can use it as a tray. But I love that they nest inside of each other. We'll do it this way as you can see. The lids and the bases. Aren't they cool? Now this um, set that I found on Amazon came with two. So you get 12 trays or six cute little boxes to put whatever in. I love them and I love the colors. The colors are so pretty. So those you can get on eBay or you can get them on Amazon. I think they were $9 on Amazon and I want to say they were double that on eBay. So, um, plus Amazon, hey, it's coming quicker, right? So that is super cool. <clears throat> and you can thank Mary for pointing these out to us. Um, thanks, Mary. Okay, next, I finally placed a small order. I couldn't decide on colors, so I didn't do too much. Um, but I placed, finally placed an order from Diamond Painting with Sparklers, which I'm talking about all of the time. So this is her card. This is Tina. You can find her on Facebook and you can also go directly to her website. She has got every color you can imagine of rhinestones, sparklers, glow in the dark. She's got rounds, she's got squares. She's got anything you can imagine for, um, she's also got the AB drills. So anything extra you want to do for your diamond paintings, you can go see Tina. She also has um, Diamond Dots um, paintings now. Whoop, just do it. Having my glasses on under this scares me that they're gonna get scratched because of this. Mm -hmm. But there's Emily's newest project. Very colorful. Very colorful, yes. I don't know what base color I'm gonna do yet. <clears throat> Looks cool. She just gonna she's gonna have a lot more designs than she does. Oh, okay. Very colorful and very easy. Yes, she is. Alright, so um she's sent me a beautiful sticker. This is one of the things, one of the newer things that she has. These are called quads. Now these fit on four spaces of your diamond painting. So if you have like a flower center or an eye of a, a creature or you just want to um, kind of like consolidate a space. She has all different colors of these as well. Um, I got the smoke ones. I don't know why. I just, I couldn't decide on a color. So I got these. She sent me a couple of, I keep sticking to the bag, um, a couple of samples and I have yet to use them only because I haven't really thought about it. But that is something that's really cool. Now I, Went ahead and ordered my original sparklers because I had run out of them and I had started using the ones from Diamond Dots. And I have to tell you, these so much prettier. Um, the ones from Diamond Dots are beautiful, but these are more, I don't know, they just feel richer. They're heavier and they, the sparkle on them is just different than what the Diamond Dots gives you. This is the bag that Tina sends them in. They're a poly um, nice sturdy bag so you don't have to worry about it, it breaking open in transit. And I hope you can see the door is not closed. Can you hear her? She's not happy that the door is pulled too. Um, but anyway, these are the original sparklers. And then I also ordered ones called Dreamcatcher. And they are very similar but they just have more of a yellowish orange 
um, kind of a base color to them. So the sparkler, the original sparklers are a lighter, kind of more pastel-y almost. Kind of the original AB and then the Dreamcatcher is um, just kind of a darker, darker colors, I guess you could say. But I am so happy. Now there are so many different colors of sparklers also. So if you want red or blue or green, um, you can get those too. Now, Tina also has uh, <clears throat> cover minders. So I had to get a couple of them because these are so pretty. I have never seen anything like this. Let me take it out of the bag. Did you make it out, silly cat? Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's so pretty. And it has the little magnets on the back. And then this next one, I was super stoked when I saw this because this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite diamond paintings. And I finally got it from Diamond Art Club. Well, lost footage again. So, so annoying. All right, so um, I think this is where I left off. Uh, talking about my favorite diamond painting and Tina has a cover minder that matches. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is one of the glass um, half circles, I guess you could call it. And then you can see the magnets there. And they are the nice, whoo, nice strong neodyme magnets. But I love this painting so much. And I cannot wait to actually work on it. And then I can use my cover minder and I can be matchy matchy. It's so cute, right? All right, next, you'll notice there's something on my neck that wasn't there before because stupid computer quit recording. So this is not diamond painting related, but it is still sparkly, so we are going to talk about them. So as you can see, this is a necklace with a beautiful rose gold heart and an adorable little owl guy with an opal belly. She paints fast. This is gonna go all the way out to like over here. Oh, you're gonna keep adding that on? Mm -hmm. Cool. She's definitely not gonna paint. Very cool. I like how she looks. Yep. Looks awesome. Alright, so this is the box that you get. And I wanted to take this off so I can show it to you closer. Let me put it in the box correctly so I can show you better. All right, so here is our beautiful little owl friend. Isn't she cute? I love the way this pendant is made, how it's got the, um, the loop, so to speak, incorporated into the heart so it just kind of floats there on your chest. I love it. And the owl is super cute with her little opal belly. So cute. Lost the lid. And then this next with her little needles. Did not feel good. Is this adorable little kitty pendant with the blue heart. I love the look of the ring. Really cool. Very nice. Right? Little shiny kitties. It's hard to get it to focus on them, I guess, because they're shiny. So cute. And then this next one is fancy, fancy. This, I'm going to take it out because it's a little bit harder to show you. Well, maybe it's not. It is hard to show, so we're going to have to just like struggle through this together. So this is an anklet. I guess you could wear it on your wrist if you wanted to. 
Um, but it is, I think I better put it back in the box. Because it's definitely, it's definitely tricky since it's got two, look at the clasp though. It's got the little heart dangly, I love it. And then, so the actual anklet itself has two strands and we have little baby sunflowers here. And then there are little diamond-esque, I'm not sure if they're real diamonds, probably, um, oh my gosh, turn over. There. So you can see the little diamond there. And there's one up here. I know it's not focusing, I apologize, but there are three little diamond pieces on one strand. And then in the, on the other strand, you have the big sunflower. OMG, Margie, you are not doing good on this at all. Here, let's do it this way. All right, so there is the sunflower. And it has, it's yellow gold and it has orange rhinestones in the middle of it. Super cute. There are, is the other little baby sunflowers. I love this. This is adorable. I've been wanting a, a anklet for a long time, but I've never found the perfect one. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, sunflowers. Why not? Right? All right. So in the description box below, you will find a link. For the jewelry, if you want to check it out, you will find a link for Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So go check her out. You will also find a link for Wanda on Etsy. Check her out. She's got really cute cover minders. And I will put a link to Amazon for these adorable heart boxes. And... If you are interested in getting some Harry Potter cover minders or fridge magnets, however you want to do it, um, use the, whatever you want to use them for, let me know in the, in the uh, comments below and Emily will get busy making them for you. So I hope to see you really get rewind, scratch that. Hope to see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.